Time for another alcohol brush marker review. Today we have this 12 pack of Sharpie brush markers and admittedly I wasn't expecting much from them. At first I actually thought that you somehow clicked the top like a pen and that was what pushed the brush out but once I opened the pack I saw that they are just slightly shorter fatter markers and that the caps do in fact go on and off. A clicking cap would have protected the brush end better from accidentally crushing it against the cap when you recap it. That's a fine design choice, so you just have to be careful when you recap the markers. There are only 12 colors, but honestly, that's all you really need, and I find that it really pushes your limits as an artist to use such a limited color palette. For the bleed test, they bleed like normal, as can be expected from any alcohol markers, so no points off there. Just use a bleed sheet, or two. And moving on to blendability, this is where they really shine. I think the gradients show for themselves, I don't really need to tell you how great they are, so I won't beat a dead horse. Actually, I think the video footage doesn't really even do it justice. Um, here, I'll add a close-up scan of the yellow-orange-red gradient so you can really see that perfect airbrush quality you get with these markers. Colored pencil is completely wasted on these since the ink is so beautifully bundable already. But if you really wanted to use them, both Prismacolor and Faber-Castell give fine results. Next we go on to Reactions. No colorless blender, but you don't really need one because these markers really don't bog you down with those special effects and gimmicks you get from other ink formulas when adding things like acetone. There's almost no reactivity to this ink formula at all. As for line weight variation, now, these markers aren't the flexible foam Japanese style tips. They are uh, individual fibers fused together, similar to the first markers I reviewed in this series, the American Crafter Chromatics, as well as the hashtag coloring brush markers. And from my opinions in those reviews, you'd think I hated this style of brush marker tip, and I thought I did, but actually these Sharpie brush markers have really turned me around to them. Sure, they fray with a little pressure, but that just means they force you to have a more delicate hand while you're using them, so you have to slow down and just take your time. For the fine liner test, I decided to go with Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Much like my Crayola Blendables review, since I didn't have a normal skin tone color, I chose a character that has a skin color I do have and decided to go with an old favorite. None of the liners bled with these markers, even though here it looks like every single one smudged or bled a little bit, but I'm sure that was just my application of them. Just be careful not to touch any black lines while you're coloring, or just work from no line art at all if you want to bump up the challenge a bit. Also, really if you're going to do that you should work from no sketch at all, since they also seem to smudge graphite pretty badly, but again they're a surprisingly advanced art supply for such a low price. And they really test your skills as an artist and challenge you. I noticed while working the alcohol ink doesn't really flow very uniformly, so I often had to stop and wait for the ink to refill the tip before continuing. Which just makes you stop and slow down and appreciate the process of making art, you know? Well, I think this series is finally done. There's not really a need to make more. The set is all you really need to make some really professional, super high quality pieces of art, and they were just delightful to use. I'll need to get a little bit better with them though, uh, since some of the markers didn't really seem to survive the tests and the one image that I colored in. Um, if you like alcohol marker reviews and other fun left brain things, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Though I don't know what the point of having any more alcohol marker reviews is since I've pretty much found the best ones. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure I'll figure something out. So uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye!